Let us now look at the functional groups in organic compounds. All organic compounds are considered as the derivatives of hydrocarbons. The derivatives are formed by replacing one or more hydrogen atoms in a molecule of hydrocarbon by some other atom or groups of atoms. After replacement, a new set of compounds is formed which has functions or properties different from the parent hydrocarbon. The atom or group of atoms present in the molecule which determines characteristic properties of organic compounds is called the functional group. Let us consider hydrocarbon methane, CH4. If one hydrogen is replaced by a dash OH group, then a compound known as methyl alcohol is formed. The dash OH group is known as the alcoholic functional group. Let us study about homologous series. A large number of organic compounds are classified on the basis of the functional group present in them. They are represented by the same general formula. Their methods of preparation are similar and they show similar properties. A group of organic compounds containing same functional group which can be represented by the same general formula and which more or less show similar trends in their properties is known as homologous series. Some important characteristics of homologous series are 1. The general formula of all compounds in the series is the same. 2. They have the same functional group. 3. Physical properties like melting point, boiling point, density generally show a gradual change with increase of molecular formula in the series. 4. Chemical properties of the member show close resemblance because of the presence of the same functional group in them. 5. Consecutive members of the series differ from by dash CH2 dash group which is known as methylene group and their molecular weight differs by 14 units. Example If the molecular formulae are arranged in order of increasing number of carbon atoms in their molecule, the series is obtained as shown here. Let us look at the nomenclature of carbon compounds. The latest and widely accepted system for giving systematic names to organic compounds is the IUPAC, International Union of Pure and Applied Chemists System. According to the IUPAC system, all organic compounds are considered as derivatives of saturated hydrocarbons and are known as alkanes. To express the name of the compound, the basic carbon chain is modified by root. A root indicates the nature of basic carbon skeleton. Prefix indicates phrase before or suffix indicates phrase after. Let us look at the terminology used in nomenclature. Root it indicates the nature and the number of carbon atoms in the basic carbon skeleton. Suffix. It denotes the type of bonds or functional group present in the carbon chain. A suffix is added to a root word to indicate the saturation or unsaturation in the carbon chain. Question. State the number of bonds essentially present between carbon and carbon in alkalines and alkynes. Prefix. It indicates the presence of other functional groups and their position. Let us look at the examples. Let us apply the word root, prefix and suffix for naming some compounds. Take the example of C2H5OH. The structure is given here. One hydrogen atom is substituted by the dash OH group. 
select the longest chain of carbon atoms. In this compound, the longest chain is of two carbon atoms. The name of the parent alkane is ethane. Since the functional group is alcohol, remove the E from the word ethane and substitute it with OL. OL stands for alcohol. The carbon atom to which the dash OH group is attached is numbered as C1 and the other carbon atoms are numbered accordingly. The compound C2H5OH is named as ethen-1-ol. Option, ethanol, indicating that the functional group dash OH is attached to the carbon atom at the end of the chain. Let us name this other compound using IUPAC nomenclature. One hydrogen atom in the chain is substituted by the dash BR dash group. Select the longest chain of carbon atoms. In this compound, the longest chain is of three carbon atoms. The name of the parent alkane is propane. As the carbon atoms are bonded in a straight line, it is a straight chain compound. The functional group is halide in the case of bromo. The carbon atom nearest to the substituted group is numbered as C1. The compound is called 2-bromopropane, indicating that the dash BR dash group is attached to the second carbon atom. Let us take another example of an unsaturated compound containing a double bond. The longest chain of carbon atoms is 4 and it is in a straight chain. The parent alkane is butane, but for unsaturated hydrocarbons, the suffix ene -E or en is added. So the above chain is named as butene. In the structure, the numbering of carbon atoms starts from the carbon atom nearest to the double bond. In the above case, the carbon atom on the extreme right is numbered 1. The position of the double bond in the chain is indicated by prefix, the lower number of the carbon atoms between the double bonds. In the above case, since the double bond is between C1 and C2, the compound is known as but1-ene. Option, butene. Take an unsaturated compound containing a triple bond. In this case, the same rules as for double bonds are followed, the suffix being changed from in to ein. Question. What is the IUPAC name of this compound? CH3-CH double dash CH dash CH3. Answer. IUPAC name of this compound is butane.